Hey, what's up, YouTube? So recently, I have been asked by numerous people on how to get Microsoft Office for free. Your computer may crash, or you get a new computer, or your subscription to Office 365 may have expired. Who knows what happens, but you need Office, you can't afford it. I came up with five different ways to help you get Microsoft Office for free. I hope you find this video informational. If you do, click the like button, leave me some good feedback. I make these videos for you all. So with no further ado, here's number one. Number one. First up, we have the Microsoft Office and Education Program. What this is, is Microsoft providing a free annual Office 365 subscription to students and teachers, as long as you can provide a valid school email address. This is an excellent program. If you're a student or a teacher, this is something you can truly take advantage of just by having a valid email address. Microsoft really is trying to help as many people as they can with this program. It's excellent. Offers in education. Number two. Next up, we have Microsoft's free online cloud apps. Now, many people don't know that most Office products are free to use online. Now, if you just Google uh, Microsoft Office free online, which I'll provide a link in the description, you can use Word, PowerPoint, presentation. All you need is a, a Microsoft account. And if you don't have one, you can create one. So I'll log in and you can have all the options of Microsoft Word. If you wanted to, let's say, update your resume, you go in here, you find a template for resume, click resume, and then the template will come right up. Once the template is up, you enter your name, and then you can edit this just like any other document in Microsoft Word. Now it is kind of limited on what you can do, but hey, it gets the job done. If you're looking for a job or you need to write a paper for school, as long as it's pretty basic, you can do it here, and you can save it. You can save a copy to your local computer, and you can also save it to your OneDrive if you have one of those. Um, this is excellent. Now, I saved it to my computer just to show you. If you have Windows 10, Windows 7 um, built into your computer, you still have the option to use Microsoft um, WordPad. Now, WordPad is kind of limited on what you can do, but it is built in where you can write a paper, do spell check, um, bold, underline italics, things like that. Number three, free mobile versions of Microsoft Office. Now, if you have a tablet or a phone or a device that has a screen that's 10.1 inches or smaller, you actually can download a free mobile version of Microsoft Office. That could be an iOS version, it could be an Android version, or a Windows version. You get a fully loaded version of Microsoft Office for free. Now, you can't beat that. If you have a Windows tablet or something like that, you hook a keyboard up and you can type your paper. Number four, Microsoft's home use program, HUP. What this program is, is Microsoft partnering with different employers to provide the employees a fully loaded version of Office 2016 Professional. Now this is my absolute favorite one on the list. All you need is a valid email and you can get Office 2016 Professional. Now I know I said free. It actually costs $9.95, but the thing is, Office 2016 Professional is a $400 program. It's fully loaded. Everything that you need in Office is in this Office 2016 Professional. Now I'll put a link in the description if you want to take advantage of this program. Number five, free open office alternatives. Now, everyone loves Microsoft Office, but if my first four options do not work for you, there are other alternatives to Office. One of the options is LibreOffice. What this is is an open source software where developers get together and they create a product that's similar to Office, functions just like Office, but it's not Office, but the thing is, it's free. Now, if you look at it, Microsoft Word, you can get in there. It's called Writer, Calc, um, Impression. You have the spreadsheets. Whatever you need to do, 
LibreOffice can help you do that. Now, another alternative is Apache's OpenOffice. The same concept. It's an open source software where developers create products that are similar to Microsoft Office, but they get the job done. And the most important thing sometimes is just to have a product that works for you, is cost efficient, and you're able to produce what you need to produce. And through LibreOffice, OpenOffice, and many others, they can help you achieve your business needs, your personal needs, and your educational needs. There are many options out there, and I hope in this video I gave you just a few. I want to thank you all for viewing. I'm going to leave all the links that we covered in this video in the description below. If you found this helpful, all I ask is that you share it with someone else. Peace.